Yeah. The note. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm asked to be re to read this at the beginning of the meeting. Uh, recently, regional and local elected and appointed bodies have been subjected to disruptive, racist, verbal attacks by anonymous callers during virtual public comments. The city of Mountain View is fully committed to ra racial, religious, and cultural equity and justice as we strive to create a welcoming, safe, and inclusive community for all. This advisory body welcomes respectful and non-threatening public comments regarding matters over which the advisory body has jurisdiction. Comments deemed otherwise pursuant to the Council Code of Conduct and the Government Code may be grounds <clears throat> for immediately terminating the speaker's comment. I got a note. Oh, and John just he just touched on. It. So you're okay. I'm I'm okay. Yeah. So I don't need to read it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh. So then we go on to roll call. Mm -hmm. uh, Cliff Bryant. Here. Jessica. Here. Lacey Rathbun um, is absent, excused. Um, and Juju Thompson absent, excused. John Whitebread. Yes. Here. Um, Regina Sakels. Here. And Susie Mahara. Here. I'll move on to approve the minutes. I'll vote to approve them. All right. I'll vote to approve them. I second. I second. All right. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. Okay. Yeah. In and out. Our minutes approved. So we go on to our communications. We um, have one member of the public online. If you're wishing to speak on an item that's not on the agenda, please raise your hand or hit star six. If you'd like to speak uh, on an item that is not on the agenda. Not seen any hands raised. It's only staff. Many staff is here. Okay. So then we'll move on to upcoming agenda topics it's for us. Anybody agenda topic? I just want to repeat maybe saying the collaboration with Angela. Mm -hmm. Ongoing as soon as staff is ready. Mm -hmm. That on the list. Mm -hmm. Um so moving on to six unfinished business. Mm -hmm. With the capital improvement projects, um, we don't have any new updates at this time. Was there anything you wanted to add, uh, John? Uh, I would just say uh, we are I'm still waiting for an update on the Rangstorf project, the grade separation project. Um, part of that project was going to help inform what was going to happen with the transit center grade separation project. So once we have a little more clearer picture on that, uh, we'll be able to come back with an update on that particular project. But uh, that project is really conditioned upon what's happening with Ramsdorf. So um, at, that, at this point in time, there are no other uh, major updates for those at CIP. So for both grade separation, there's no update. On the pool, Ramsdorf mm -hmm. pool, is there an update? Uh, the pool is still undergoing testing. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. Very new in different systems that heat the pool. Um, yeah. and, uh, it's been maybe taking a little bit longer than envisioned, but there's a lot of testing that needs to go on because it is so new. In yeah, the, no, no date yet. When, no. Yeah, when's the party? We do not have an estimated date. <laughs> the artist always sold though. Yeah, yeah, they're they're exciting. Exciting. Peak, right? yeah, no, I've, I've seen some stuff online. It looks really good. Yeah, okay. John, John, what help? Somebody help. <laughs> All right, great. Um, we should take a public comment on this item. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure if you, you guys are done. Yeah, so we're opening to a public comment. Anyone online wishing to speak on the updates associated with capital improvement projects, please raise your hand or hit star six. I've seen any. Well, I'm here. Um, I had a question um, in the area. Um, what's the status of the ball arms? Uh, currently, we are uh, waiting to execute 
the agreement with the artists, having some guidance around legal guidance around um, whether these projects are whether these projects trigger uh, uh, a contractor's license or not. So we're oh, oh, about waiting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I got, they got caught up into that issue. Okay, very good. All right, so moving on to C point two, shoreline data extension two. So just as a reminder, the um, the shoreline boat housing cafe is um, over twenty five years old and needs updates. And there's going to be an expansion to the kitchen and serving areas. Um, so the project is subject to uh, Council Policy K-5, the public art and theater projects um, that stipulates that 2% of the construction budget is designated for public art. So the VAC discussed the potential art locations back in um, May and June and decided to incorporate um, these three potential locations on uh, the building. Um, so it includes the wall adjacent to the gateway, uh, the wall facing the breezeway between the cafe and the boathouse, and then the wall facing the parking lot. And there's just a glance around the building. Um, And then there was a request to include an additional art location. Um, so this would be replacing an existing bench at Shoreline Lake. Mm -hmm. um, so this is um, the VAC looked at a bench that um, bench style that the community services department has already um, utilized in other areas of the city, like at the senior center. Um, so this bench style, it's called the Gus Hybrid. Um, it, we realized that it's actually no longer available for commercial sale. Um, and that was in the midst of um, reviewing the juries and, um, and after we had gotten the art proposals. Um, the company, they're now called Noble Winds. They um, formerly were Go Campus. Um, they said they have enough materials to make a bench, um, but there's also a time component for them as there is for us. So if it's not available, um, we'll talk about it more when we go into the um, as we go into the presentation and talk about the proposals, but um, just to think about considering alternative options um, to recommend to the city council. Mm -hmm. This is just for the public. Um, so we, I wanted to go over just the jurying process um, for the public listening in. So we released a call for artists on June 24th and that was closed on July 29th. Um, staff did a completeness check after we got all the applications in. Um, any applications that are ineligible are removed. And then um, the Visual Arts Committee started juring on July 30th. Um, so they used the selection criteria that's listed in the call for artists. And I'll pull it up on the next slide too. Um, staff from Public Works and Community Services also review the top scoring applications just to check for any engineering concerns or other issues. And then at the meetings, uh, meeting tonight, so the VAC members will discuss and deliberate the jury results and um, decide on a recommendation to make to the city council. So this is the selection criteria that um, was decided on for the boathouse project. Um, this is generally the same for the public art projects, um, but any changes um, to this will be listed in the call for artists too. So for tonight, we included the top 12, uh, the top 12 high scores um, for all of the proposals. I think we received 23 total. Um, and as this, they start going below the 3.7 number. Um, so this, the, the artists here are listed in order of um, highest average to lowest average. And we did want to touch on some considerations from staff. So um, a few comments that we had, we included it in the staff report too, but um, one is lighting. Um, so shoreline's open from 6.30 a.m. until um, 30 minutes after sunset and um, no activities can happen after hours. Um, so lighting will need to be turned off accordingly. Um, all, 
all artwork will have to be weather resistant, um, have to avoid color material deterioration from heat sand and any other outdoor elements um, by incorporating some sort of like UV resistant or anti graffiti um, surfacing through surface treatment. Um, any attachments to the walls will have to uh, collaborate with the public work staff and the design team to um, make sure that there's, they're using the best means of attachment. Um, and then we talked about the bench already. So um, if there is a bench proposal that the VAC wants to make a recommendation on, um, just considering alternate options, um, we are not able to buy the bench. Um, and then for timeline, um, so to say on schedule, um, we're asking that the selections are made tonight so that we can take the recommendations to the city council uh, by October 22nd. Um, so public works can stay on, um, on the timeline for, for the project. Are there any other comments from Services? I'll, I'll provide one clarifying comment on the lighting components. Uh, that is our standard for all city parks and trails and shoreline. However, because shoreline is unique, um, we do allow private events to go after hours, but on the daily, uh, we close half hour after sunset. So you have Michael's restaurant, the Ringstorf house and the boathouse will have select events throughout the year that do go after hours, but on the day-to-day -day basis, we do close and we usually close the front gate um, so that the general public doesn't keep coming in. And then uh, only, um, <clears throat> only the uh, event attendees can leave. So it's, it's not that there won't ever be people there after half hour after sunset, but it will be much, much less than something that general public will see uh, at that time. Thank you. And we wanted to touch on um, just the budget and artist selection um, kind of things to consider before we go into the individual proposals. Um, so the total budget's 121,200. Um, we didn't stipulate in the um, call for artists a budget per wall location, and most of the proposals were for one or more locations, but they just included one total budget and didn't separate those out. Um, and there are some that are below the budget um, um, at half or less, um, and there was at least one that broke it out by wall, um, but um, we're recommending just kind of two options for selecting an artist. So one, um, select one artist for one or more locations. And that's, um, this is recommended for those proposals that were near or at the total budget amount. Um, and then the other option is to select multiple artists for different locations um, and recommended if the, their budgets were less than the amount and collectively the multiple artists could still work within that budget. Um, and I, I don't know, John, if you want to put on there, there was kind of a, a similar um, concern with the past project too. I think it was the gateway. Yeah, so you may recall um, during the transit center grade separation project, the idea of potentially mixing and matching artists. Um, and when we asked for separated budget proposals, it didn't necessarily come out that way. And there was a lot of consternation about flow and feel. So based upon that learned experience, we are suggesting that you kind of go all in on one artist that caps the budget or alternatively, if you really are looking for a mix, you have to select a different set of artists to make that work. Keeping in mind, um, Eventually, artists could go back and maybe rejigger their budget. Uh, but if that is going to be the case, it would be incumbent upon staff to continue to move this forward on whatever that rejiggering is. So you might only get art on one or two walls, not three, based upon the rejiggered budget. The other thing I do want to remind folks about is this particular call was set up as a, here's a concept, there's a budget. This was not a call that was done to pick an artist and then develop the actual concept. So if we're going back and asking people to revise budget, that's more time that they may or may not ultimately be awarded a contracting. So 
we've been fairly sensitive to artists spending too much time developing a proposal only to say. So those are why we are suggesting this approach, either stick with one artist and you create a, maybe a theme of things uh, with that one artist across those three potential art opportunities or take the alternative, but don't intermingle the folks one, because we don't have time and two, you may not necessarily get all the art that you should see based on the entire list. And your comments are regarding the boat house itself, not necessarily the bench. That's a separate topic. Yeah. It, it could be. Um, why don't we go through the proposals and I think it'll be more, a little more clear. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. okay, so we'll start going through um, the proposals. So the first, the highest um, average score was Stephen Galloway. Um, the proposed concept was um, the stylized. Um, um, porcelain, enamel, and steel. Um, so I think this was just the one example that they provided that they said they would create up to eight, four by six artworks um, representing different species and shoreline. And then here are the work samples on the right. Um, they do have, I think this is the bottom right, that's in the Rainsdorf Park uh, Community Center. The one on top is in Sunnyvale. <coughs> Are those all images from the same art on top? It's like an yeah, yeah. The top. Okay, it's top like two different close-ups. Left are yeah. um, from the same art. <laughs> the, the two right underneath that. They're just okay. This guy is prolific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and rem remember he also applied for the great separation mm -hmm. and yeah. was. Almost our favorite. Yeah, mm -hmm. hard, hard working guy. Yeah. Next is Morgan Bricka. Um, so her she read her concept um, just in written format, um, so focusing on um, the avian community of shoreline. Um, and so these are all of her work samples. So with someone that says proposed for all locations, does that mean murals in all locations, or one mural that could go anywhere? Um, murals at each wall. How many people are we picking? Um, so there's three walls. Um, okay. Yeah, so we're yeah, proposing kind of to just, either choose one. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, probably only one. Right. Right. Okay. Kind of leaves out answers. Could, could 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 you go back just to to Solomon or or, or and uh, okay good yeah go, no, no I'm just going to uh, Galloway okay. Good. And then, then the next one. And then uh, this is Anne Godet Sophie. Um, so she her proposal was for the bench only. She was one of the selections for the following project. This is Solomon Basoff. Um, he did bench only as well. Um, he did provide the content. So we, they, we gave notifications to all the applicants at the meeting. And um, he, after reading through the staff report, said he would be able to make a bench as well. Um, um, the budget for the mosaics is. Is the budget on the last one really? You know, 4,000 4, bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. But we can't get the bench. We may potentially the bench. Do they have a different model if that one doesn't work out? Like we can't get that exact bench. Is there something similar? They don't. They aren't making any more of the gathering style, like the three hundred and sixty style benches. Mm -hmm. The sides that have. we like, just mm -hmm. not. Yeah, they do no. still have those classic style benches. But like with only one paintable no. side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was. I think it's set up kind of um, like a U shape so, of the size that. Go to Shoreline Park. It's set up like a little U shape. So there could be some art, I think, on the sides of it, mm -hmm. and potentially the back. So that could be like backup bench idea of mm -hmm. the original. Yeah. So but, this is mosaics. This, I like. I like this guy. I mean, I mean, the budget. This is like 
But it We're means not. we have a very low budget for the walls. What are they, what are they doing different? I guess it's mosaic versus. Mosaic, yeah. So, yeah. Didn't you mention that he said he could build something? Build the bench. Mm -hmm. Build the bench. Does that cost include yeah. building the bench? Which might. Uh, no, it, it wasn't was in his proposal. Oh, budget. Right. It's like that. total out to 121000 That would leave us with no but almost no budget for the walls. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is Angie Jones, um, and her proposal is with Jake Sullivan. Um, so they got the full reference for their um, so their proposals. Their proposal are fiberglass. The owls need a fiberglass. The other two are acrylic, um, and they, they have LED components. Um, but there is an option to use your smartphone or tablet to. Um, when you put it up against this or use a QR code or something, um, then you see it as a real life owl, real life oh, fish, yeah. real life butterflies. Um, there, one thing to know in the proposal, there was a mention of the acrylic sculptures melting in the sun, and I'm not sure if it was a reference to the color or um, what exactly it was, but that would just be something that's quite a So the artist said they did not. It was, yeah, it was in the proposal. Um, so this, uh, this is one of the proposals that was, um, they had, their budget was 54000 They broke out the budget by um, each mural option. Um, so the three murals that they're proposing on the left side and then so Lori knows like she um uh, she's proposing wall murals on all three walls. Um you need a uh patina sheet metal panels, um so they she would be painting on those um, some sort of form of movement of water um, the sky. So I think these um, her work samples on the bottom are both they're made of that same material. I think the, the top two might be this. And Julie Engelman, she proposed three wall, three wall murals um, showing the uh, aquatic animals, shorebirds, native fish, aquatic plants. What does the fifty to a hundred? So she provided a range for for her budget. So depending on if um, the AC chose one, uh, two, or three, um, she could adjust it between this amount. Amelia DeWitt, um, her proposal is wall-mounted metal and glass sculpture, um, and it's showcasing the flow of water, um, bird shapes. She's proposing all three walls. So James Peterson, his proposal um, is for one wall. Um, his preference is either the wall is in the parking lot or the breezeway wall. It provided three concepts. Um, it was mainly like just different uh, lighting options, right? Different color lighting that differentiate those concepts. Um, the, uh, each of them are a little bit different. Yeah, but I struggle with these because both did not. So these are, he's proposing three paintings um, of people voting in water activities. Um, and it would be, the proposal said it would be similar to 
or similar to the style. Yeah, he experiments with really weird perspectives. Mm -hmm. These are kind of fun. They're cool. Mm -hmm. They're cool. And, mm -hmm. um, what's the budget on that one? The whole. That's pretty close six. to the whole, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Gold. I think this is the last one. Um, Eric Powell, um, so their proposal is for one of all three walls, um, steel pixel art. Um, and they provided the option of the kind of black and white versus color. Um, so they were amenable to different stuff, like different color styles. So that is the, those are the 12 artists. Um, so just our recommendation is to either select the one artist um, for one or more locations or um, for the artists that provided a lower budget, um, selecting those with consideration to the, their project budget proposals being within the total amount. Um, and then um, we're asking for up to two alternates for the locations. Um, so we mentioned the um, contractor requirement. Uh, or we talked about in the staff report, uh, this memo that came out from Governor Gavin Newsom, um, from the contractor state license board executive office talking about contractor requirements for public art projects. Uh, we're looking into what the implications are for uh, these public art projects. Um, for our, for our projects now um, and for future projects, seeing how they might impact them. Um, if there is a requirement to get license, um, we want to make sure that we have alternate options in case there are any issues with that with our artists too, if there are any issues with timing. The artists were not aware of that requirement when they made, made these proposals, correct? Yeah. So this will be new information for them. Yeah, we weren't aware of it um, when we released the call, so it wasn't something that we included. Yeah. Yeah. Would it be an option? I mean, that's a big, I think that's a big hurdle for a lot of artists to be a contractor as well as doing artwork. Would it be an option if the city, they could be subcontractors to somebody? Good. To, to We're still it? researching how it's going to impact these, yeah. and it, it varies by, I think, the type of art um, that's selected. Um, and how how the art's going to be installed. Um, so we'd have to work with the individual departments to figure out what the best options are. You think we'll know by October? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, we're hoping um, there's, there's a lot of complexity in this um, mm -hmm. and we're trying to get some legal guidance. So part of what we're, Solving for uh, with this commission, once again, we're trying to keep things moving forward, but allowing some flexibility in how the contract gets executed. So the hope would be we can take a recommendation from the VAC to city council and have city council consider it. Um, whether we have that information at that time or not, um, but Understood. making sure we have some flexibility or give council the flexibility if something changes, either the council can give the authority to city manager or someone to address that. Um, but we are also trying to, I mean, of the project. So all I can say is we're trying to thread a bit needle. Um, so the staff will do our best to make sure we're keeping people on It's a matter of cost, right? It's not just a complicated process to get contractors licensed. It's also it's it. So it seems like it would really favor, you know, this the Stephen Galloways of the world who are big enough to be doing this all the time if you're just some Local guy, it's tough. Yeah. It comes down. I mean, you know, and, and this is a state requirement, Gavin. So these artists will hit this issue in other cities. It's an interpretation issue. So yeah. apparently, the code had yeah. changed some time ago. This there's some legal 
president and guidance like came about and we became aware of in the middle of this. Mm -hmm. That is something that <laughs> is it more into sort of like sculptural stuff or murals, or is it really still a thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're really not in a Honestly, not in a position to respond because we yeah. don't know. Yeah. So, okay. um, John, do you think as we create, we we'll have some guidance from that? We reach out. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what to, to my to does. me that's what they're here for. One of the issues yeah. yeah. that they yeah. says mural. everybody. We're in the same problem. Yeah, yeah. We did reach out to them. That seems. Um, they're not 100% sure. Okay. Are there any other questions or yes. so clarifying so questions I before we uh, go into public comment? And then yeah. So do we have community services and public works here too? Well, now it's time for questions for staff or to the staff. staff have any, um, since you, we were updated in an earlier meeting about the has, uh, rough conditions out in shoreline, um, weather-wise and whatnot, were any of these, did, um, uh, did you have any issues with proposals from that perspective that you saw here? Only one was the mention of the owner. Or only we had mentions of the so mm -hmm. that would be a concern. Um, I think we, we were willing to work with them. That we have anti graffiti, depending on what the material is. So we, we're flexible in that regard. Um, I think we just need to make sure that the artist is willing to understand the elements that are in there. Make sure it doesn't degree with. So, like the sheet metal, we would be concerned about what type of sheet metal they select and how that impacts cost and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. But with the painting, it was just more. Um, Knowing that it's and you'll see sea air, etc. Right. Yeah, you guys are more uh, experts on this than I am. I just can tell you the elements out there. But yeah, yeah. it's uh, you know it's salt water, salt air, uh, sun, high winds. We get forty mile an hour winds every evening, and so there is wear and tear, a lot of stuff gets blown into it, just dust and dirt and stuff, and so it's, we will be able to go into it. Was there consideration then of ongoing maintenance of these things? Is that a separate topic, or does that come into our decision? Well, in part, of the part of the contract, we ask for the artist to provide a maintenance plan too, and um, I think through the design process, that will be something that's kind of discussed and types of materials that Right. I mean, if I could, if I could, um, for the principal project manager. So, um, what we hope to do through the selection process is again, there's a filtering process. This is one of them where we attempt to select artists who they have demonstrated past experience with public agencies and public art in outdoor locations, and with the enhanced understanding that it's in a more harsh environment than your average street corner. So that should affect our decision-making as to who we select based on the materials they've proposed. Um, and you know, that's, and, and until we get into specifics of specific artists, I mean, it's the general idea behind this process. Is good. Well, and there's future, future problems. There's no shortage of art on the sides of, you know, coastal restaurants. Mm -hmm. So there's, you know, that doesn't seem to just deteriorate. There, there are ways to do it, I'm sure. But, but yeah, some experience helped me with us. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, anyone wish to speak on this item online, please raise your hand or hit star six. Seeing any hands raised? Turn it back to the right, committee so for discussion. Not the discussion. Can we maybe have the list again? The score? Scores?
Well, then you want to you want to tree tree people. So either um either one one, one, one person yeah. and then a backup. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you put up Morgan Brickett? Stephen Galloway looks pretty, pretty durable. Yeah. Now this looks durable too. I mean, he does tiles, right? Mm -hmm. metal. He's like stuff on Porcelain metal. Even. Or so, on metal. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like, what is it? Porcelain um, enamel, porcelain enamel on, on steel. So it looks yeah. like panels that just hold on. I mean, to me, it looks like a no-brainer. Yeah. He got the most yeah. votes. We liked him last time. Mm -hmm. He has somewhat of a unique style, right? He From far, you see almost a photograph and from show, yeah. you see all those little parts. I, I almost like his proposal for the great separation better than what he showed there. But And I don't know if he maybe not wanted to wear away because he thought it was not the winning proposal. So he Show us something new, but he had this beautiful tree. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember this mm -hmm. beautiful yeah. large yeah. tree yeah. and yeah. all made of little hexagon tiles That's right. yeah. that yeah. would yeah. kind of like a puzzle go together. Yeah, I could good. totally see like this would mm -hmm. maybe continue on through all the three walls or something. But and I don't know, maybe he would. Oh, those are I don't know why he. Or, yeah. But it's the same style, so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It, it is, it's, it's, it's I mean, I can see, see, you know, like more to here towards shoreline. I mean, it's, you know, big trees of foresty areas are not really there. But, but, the, but then the, the eternal question, rays or no rays? The rays. <laughs> <should, laughs> I mean, the rays. <laughs> yeah. The what? Yeah. It's talking about the oceanic creatures, those rays. <laughs> Does the staff have any comment to this? Because he's different that it's not a mural, right? It's it's metal and painted on. Is that any metals? The one at the community center yeah. is an indoor yeah. place. But that's yeah. that's a yeah. photograph on glass. It's yeah. completely Trans different. Right. He does have two examples that are out. Yeah. Yeah, that one in Sunnyvale, that's outside on a building. I'm not sure what the Material as he made it. Well, and I don't know what I forget the dimensions, but you know, by the time you got eight four by six artworks, you you're filling a lot of space. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're getting some some bang for our buck. Yeah, I thought the same because you get more than just painting, right? Yeah. The only question I had was having the monarch butterfly at shoreline. I think it's an example. I think I I you think know. I read in his proposal yeah. he'll he'll get info yeah. from like experts <clears throat> and see what what's ah, actually okay so it's not necessarily a proposal for a monarch mm -hmm. yeah. I don't yeah, I don't, don't want to think it's more the style I don't think so he, okay. I, I remember that he said he'll mm -hmm. he'll consult with everyone and then depict like things I remember that too okay. I think yeah. it's just uh, a kind of rough it's, sketch it's an Arabian center. It's a good center, not a no, public center. I think, you're, something, I think right? you're right, Cliff. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I'm, so that, you should that's, mention that's, that, like, that's what, that's what kind of more like local. Yeah, that, 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 that's what turned me off oh. him versus the the other one, uh, mm -hmm. um, Morgan Brickhoff, who referenced, referenced the, the birds. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I didn't think um, Shoreline was necessarily as was for. I don't know if those are the correct birds, right? These are samples of other work. Of other, that's yeah. samples of other. Uh, and she's killing the bird. Yeah. We we could work with the artist on the way. If you guys wrap up in 15 minutes, you can come to my presentation on the shoreline wildlife management plan. We'll <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we would work with them. Uh, yeah, we'd work with them on the wildlife and, and making sure that it correlates. Uh, it'd be the same thing with the um, activity ones that kind of show the lake activities. We'd coordinate so that we okay. could try to make it very representative of what's on shore. I mean, we could do that, right? We could make a remark that we really want that, yeah. Yeah. that we have to work too. Yeah. mostly yeah. tied to, the, to, the, to the, well, that is right. the Audubon yeah. quality bird art. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, uh, yeah. And there was a comment by the, the bistro um, operator who they, they had a preference for um, some of the water features or what, like water activities, um, the art that incorporated those. Mm -hmm. Because of the boathouse 
Yeah. <laughs> make them so more that, power which power is power. understandable, yeah. but yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that would be to miss. <laughs> Smith, right? He's the only one who has yeah. people in this um, activity. But. I think you like the water one as well, the, the, the wavy one. Oh, yeah, the they bottom. like the waves. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple yeah. other ones, but um, I think the, the, do you like this one too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Galloway pieces, you can like those. I think in the Galloway one, there was a mention that it would be for species and connect to those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, you know, yeah. Okay. Right. it's just a little more. Yeah. So well, we didn't ask for a final proposal, so uh, mm -hmm. people were, so they could necessary. provide a concept and then. And it's just a little bit more, right? When you close up and then from mm -hmm. yeah. you know, which could be really an interesting. Yeah. yeah. It says each featuring a depiction of member of species. So yeah. it might be different. Speaking. And it looks like it's very durable. I mean, porcelain <laughs> enamel. Yeah. Porcelain. porcelain enamel. It's it's fake. Fake. Unless you drop it. I mean, can we see the bench from Anne Sophie yeah. again? Because I think, I think this is so much, even if you include the price of the bench, I think it's a lot of bang for a buck. Mm -hmm. And I just did a quick but, but decision. It's a, it's a bench. It's a bench. Yeah, I, I know yeah. it's a bench. But and if then we you, do then a, you look at if her. divide the cost of this eight panels from earlier, 121,000 by eight, then you get 15,000. So one option could be saying, hey, Stephen, could you do seven instead? And we can still have this bench. And then maybe if the bench falls through, it doesn't work out for manufacturing reasons or whatever, then we just default to eight panels from Stephen. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like a little more variety. Her in style is almost complement. To read to yeah. Galloway style. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Maybe yeah. not her proposal, but when mm -hmm. you look at the uh, utility box, she also has this kind of like a little patchy yeah, kind of yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. she does it her own the way, stylized. not Galloway's mm -hmm. way. To mm -hmm. me, I also thought she might be a great, great addition. And at her cost, that mm -hmm. would be workable. Oh, that yeah. Galloway would step I'm back sorry, a little well, bit. And that's what you get for your money, but I'm sorry this is paint because if anything's going to take a beating yeah it's the bench that's right next to the water and the kids and the dirt. I mean, she and would have to yeah. you have to <laughs> maybe use this, this exterior but the box you know for the last 10 years right, you're right. good just put 10 it. layers of but, lacquer yeah. on top yeah, yeah. But, and keep re lacquering but, but the I bench is off. bench is not viable it's not manufacturing it, so let's not get lost. Well, in, in, did you mean uh, maybe? It, it sounds maybe like they it, have it enough materials for one. But, but, so. but let's let's not get it's a stretch to say it's, it's not. not it's, it, it, may work, it may yeah, work. It may not. It may work yeah. still. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But between but so so between Galloway and 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 Did 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 Morgan say how they're um, what they work on? Is it paint? Is it? Do you, do you recall? I can't remember exactly what type of paint she's doing. It's probably outdoor. But it's it's but all out. Some of these are shades well, yeah. outdoor. They from the yeah. Example. So so they're they're they're, they're used to used to it. Yeah, you probably okay. exterior yeah. houses. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. Um, I, I gave them both top scores. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But between if we if we kind of since we're gonna try to push forward here, mm -hmm. um, if you see we both like these two. No, you don't I like know that everybody. <laughs> I prefer Steve. So do you like which of these two would you prefer? I I prefer I think or he's more way. interesting. Well, okay. he has that interesting element. What Susie said that mm -hmm. from the from far it looks it looks like really like a photograph, but then when you go close, it becomes more abstract. So mm -hmm. it has that far away yeah. close because mm -hmm. you walk mm -hmm. off close mm -hmm. to these through these breezeways. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see more far, and then it changes yeah. as you long term yeah. than anything. Yeah. Painted. Maybe yeah. you get more individual artworks out of this as well. You get I, I like those two seven. things yeah. the most, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's very durable. It is yeah. unique. Mm -hmm. I think we want to always strive to not always needs to be the most innovative and crazy, <laughs> but that we move forward, right? Yeah. And I think brick is beautiful, but it's very traditional. Mm -hmm. yeah, very traditional. Tradition, <laughs> very, very, which is also beautiful, but very traditional mural artwork. Um, 
I think all those three things, like that I feel like we're moving to an interesting direction that will surprise yeah. and delight oh, yeah. people because they realize it's different from far or close, it's durable. Mm -hmm. And he got the most goals, right? And he liked him before. Mm -hmm. And I feel like... Yeah. And, and, it's, and it's assuming that he out. will work with uh, the, the staff on creating what's the appropriate wildlife right. for that area. Yeah. But like um, Jesse's... <laughs> Yeah. idea to see if we can uh, that like if they can shoot on a bench in there. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, uh, a bench in out the bench. Yeah. Can we can we get a bench in? If it doesn't work out then I'd say just spend all the money on Steve. But first yeah. choice would be try to get both. Well can I ask budget why is the bench itself? Because we were a bit unclear <clears throat> when eight, we discussed the bench. Eight, is the bench eight, itself paid eight, by ten, right? By our budget or by like a oh, public like, works even, budget? Yeah, okay. okay. Because there would be additional cost for the mm -hmm. bench as well, right? right. Okay. A couple yeah. of thousand dollars. I forget if it was eight or twelve thousand. Um, I, I think I that um we ended up getting a more formal proposal with shipping costs, and it was fourteen thousand. Okay. So be eighteen thousand. Fourteen plus eighteen. With with her, yeah. with that, with uh, Sophie. Yeah, okay. I guess I should think have to find. Um, we had an item before on another previous meeting about uh, whether or not it has been chosen before. Well, uh, are we repeating them? Um, we had this discussion. We had this discussion with uh, uh, the center for call the center, the center of arts or something mm -hmm. like that. Right. So, um, um, in the lieu of that, or in the spirit of that. When was the last time he did a piece for us? He was out, outside the, the, the uh, Ringstorf Community Center. That was yeah, that, that was that's the only other time we've right. right. that was that was that, years ago. <laughs> that's pre pre pandemic decades. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five, 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 five years ago. Yeah. Five, five, we opened five years ago. Yeah. He did the work. Yeah. Yeah. We had like a yeah. two year limit or, so, or, or well, something. Well, we, we didn't add that to this call for artists. Right. That was that was for future discussion or for the, for the next uh, for the Center next for call. Performing yeah. Arts. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just yeah. trying to be yeah. yeah. consistent with, with. I feel like it was completely different and it's rather small, right? It's yeah, like, yeah, a, like yeah. almost yeah. a door kind of size. Yeah. 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 Okay. At the end of the hall. I'm just checking. Yeah. 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 No, no, that's a good, oh. that's a good check. Yeah. So, so ah, why I hear we all kind of like, like Galloway. Mm -hmm. Well, if we're going by the numbers, he's got a pretty good gap. Yes. Over, uh, if we yeah. were to go with him, do you want to do the names? Or do the, the next one? Whoever Morgan. 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 The other two are bench people. Yeah, because so the people who don't use the whole budget. Yeah, I'm I think this is super innovative and exciting, but it's indoor art. Yeah, too. it's indoor art. Yeah. And yeah, this is yeah. the one where there, there was a comment um, in the proposal the colors melting in the sun. So yeah. we were yeah. that weird. Yeah. And you would scan it and then you would learn about yeah. owls. Yeah. Like I feel it's like it very cool. Right. Right. But it's indoors. It's a melt. It's a melt. But that melt. needs to be it's inside. Right. Yeah. Acrylic like I wouldn't it's, put outside. Yeah. It's indoors. It's odd that they're from LA and you, you wouldn't can, be outdoors. But yeah, yeah. it's indoors. I mean indoors. with a with a with a hot hot air. But to air gun, you can, you know, it gets mm. soft. I mean, it's yeah. not even a hairdryer, it gets mm. soft and it bends. Now, if it's in the sun, mm. you have a hundred and something temperature, and then yeah. it's not, the sun yeah. is on it, it'll just go slump, you know. Yeah. So, I, I'd be concerned for yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Or when yeah. somebody came up and touched it. And this is Angie Yeah, I think it's, okay. it's exciting, but not yeah. really. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I liked it, but yeah, yeah. 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 this person doesn't use the whole budget. This, 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 this. <laughs> Does that prefer um having this? Do you want just one alternate, or do you want two alternates? 
Um, I think up to two. Um, up to two. Yeah. But yeah. One's, so one's good. One yeah, I think, I think one could be fine. They're quite yeah. different, right? If mm -hmm. if I could see Galloway in case he would say, well, fabrication is double the money or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I think He's so different from a muralist that if he backs out, then we'll have a muralist right. instead. Well, and then um, there's such a, other than the benches, there's such a big scoring yeah. gap down to the next yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're getting a lot of bang for our buck, right? Mm -hmm. For a muralist, I think oh. I find Bricka quite expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fabrication of the three more is sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. But well, that's a lot. She, she would she would be silly mm -hmm. not to no I know go on the budget. I know but in terms of bang for your oh, buck yeah, yeah. it's a little bit less bang for your buck. No, that's that's so, good. So should we just go with one alternative? And we'll go because yeah. I think we don't want to go further down, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll do one alternative. Yeah. Can well, we see I, that? I think we're going to give these students this contact or something. Mm -hmm. so, what do people think about trying to get the answer to get in there? Do you want to just Sorry? stick? Do you want to stick with just purely Stephen Galloway, Galloway as the first choice, or do you want to try to see if we can get the bench in there as well? So can we see the slide 23, the one with the recommendation? Okay. It's great actually to have this printed out. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, thank you. This yeah. and this, so we yeah. can actually follow. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and great slide. Um, so we need to decide first choice. And if yeah. that first choice will do all three locations, all four basically, yeah. right? But let's leave the bench out for now. That might be easier, right? Like location one, two, and three. Mm. Would then first choice be Galloway mm -hmm. and alternate Bricka for all three? Yeah. 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 And bench, um, we would say, I, I would if say, it happens, this will be the person. Since I have this yeah. nice chart, <laughs> I would personally, I would fill it in like this. I would say, first choice, location one, two, three, Galloway. Bench and Sophie, alternate one, all four Galloway, alternate two, all four Bricka. Does that make yeah, sense? I think that makes sense. I mean, yeah, all three. Sorry, I mean, the, the last so two, Galloway, alternate one and two, should be just the Sophie. top three location one, two, three Galloway, and then location one, two, three Bricka for alternate two. So Bricka would do all four? Right. No, I no, want, no, she didn't do and it. then no alternate two. No alternate two. Um, so Bricka would you suggest want, Bricka for think, bench as well, right? As no, no. I think I think Bricka should be filled in for the top three positions for alternate two. Galloway should be the top three positions in alternate one, and the first choice should be Galloway, 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 and Sophie with a bench on the bottom. So we're saying if we can't do so the bench, then we're the first option, yeah, then the second option. We're saying we want only Galloway. I would like yeah, Galloway. Plus, with like maybe one less panel, plus Aunt Sophie's bench is my first choice. Then the alternate to that would be just Galloway, eight panels. And then the second alternate would be the three murals proposed by Brick. Mm. Oh, I see. That, that's what it is. Oh, Anything? you, because you want to say we still favor a bench, still, basically. Yeah, and we still favor Galloway over Brick. But then if the but, bench falls out, then it goes to yeah, alternate then we version go, one. Yeah, which is just Galloway. And if Galloway, Galloway can't do it, is out, reason, then it would break us. And for for the first choice, then if the if we do get the bench, you may only get two walls out of Stephen Galloway versus yeah. three. There could be a problem mm -hmm. with because he has probably a, yeah. a tight budget. Yeah. Right with his well, fabrication. Economies of scale. That <laughs> he'll not one of our yeah, yeah. things. Or a part of first choice suggests that the council could be like, hey, so I, I would actually do like five or 10,000 or whatever to cover. You guys think the costs. first choice is leave the bench out because mm -hmm. it's 18,000 mm -hmm. and that endangers like getting as many panels from Galloway well, as we might get otherwise. Mm -hmm. And second, would be the bench. I would leave it like this because if he, says, you know, like, I can't do, you know, this, 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 then we can go to alternate one. Like if Galloway's not going to do it. Oh, right. oh, oh I know. He says, I can't, you know. So we want to do first choice only if Galloway still does the eight. I would say, I would, panels. I'd be subtle for a second. 
I don't know about how everyone else is. I would settle if we're in order to get, you know, some bench budget, I would say to Galloway, can we get seven panels from you instead? Because he said eight, right? To the eight, yeah. eight yeah. panels. That's what he David, did you have he proposed eight? I would say give us seven for less money. So one thing to consider is what we're not seeing is how they lay out on the wall and mm -hmm. work together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pieces. So just saying six or seven, whatever the number is, yeah. artistically and yeah. as a composition. Yeah. We want to tilt the five dollar purpose. Right. So that's something you just want to keep in mind when you're looking at options. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if it doesn't work out, we can go mm -hmm. to well, the second choice. So 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 what's the chance of us getting a bench based upon what <laughs> your knowledge of public works and this firm? Is it actually, is it just pie in the sky or is it actually going to, what, what, what's so, the chances of, of it actually occurring? What was communicated to us was we may have enough material to fabricate a bench, but we needed, we need to let them know very quickly. So like today, okay. We need to let them know very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so, now that that's basically what they said. They basically stopped fabricating. They may have some leftover material to actually do the fabrication of it. But we don't know, and it was all dependent upon timing. So once again, I think um, the, <clears throat> there is a little bit of an unknown with the bench, and I think a big part of what field to the VAC, my recollection of the last conversation was the fact that you could be fully around the bench, yes. mm -hmm. the way the bench yeah. all the way around. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And if that style is not available, the bench concept really loses all of its yeah. Yeah. completely yeah. correct mm -hmm. meaning. Yeah. Um, so I guess the the thing we would need to inquire about for this is before we would ultimately go to council is if we assume this goes to council as anticipated calling them and saying by november would there be enough material to fabricate the bench if not mm -hmm. then we, go we just that. we, we yeah. take it off but yeah. i suspect our last engagement with them was two weeks ago yeah, about two weeks. So, and they were kind of like, you need to know now. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm, I think the window on the bench is diminishing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we won't know until we make it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to provide direction to us to at least explore that up to the last possible moment, we can. Mm -hmm. Um, but that does also mean that artist Galloway would also need to be flexing yeah. in a way. So but by, I, mm -hmm. what I would also want to just caution, and I think David made a very good point, which is it may not be panel one, panel two, um, in terms of fabrication. So Keep in mind, there's generally economies of scale when you do this stuff. So to get to the price point of whatever that number is, it may be a bigger chunk yeah. being removed from um, yeah. ultimately what Galloway is doing. That's true. Yeah. Are you okay with that? I would be comfortable going into the first choice option, like say it's more expensive than we think, then we can propose the city council like hey we want to do this but it's going to cost an extra 10 or twenty thousand or whatever will you give us that money and if they say no we could have spent one that doesn't work with ultimate too like we've asked for double the budget in the past often we used to do that on a regular basis and they always said yes i think if we ask for a slight well, budget in raise the budget then there's a good chance they'll you know, it's worth was, asking there was a comment brought up at one of our last meetings about yeah. the kind of decrease in the cip budget too mm -hmm. so i wouldn't necessarily bank on that as yeah. a, I wouldn't bank on it, but it's worth it's asking. It's five thousand was that for 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 the bench? Um four thousand for the art and then um, fourteen thousand. So eighteen thousand. And that, that that was the was it in the, the, 
but uh, um, um, fourteen thousand was coming from a different bucket. No, correct. No, uh, it's from the air budget. It's from the air budget. Okay. Unfortunately, okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I would so, not right. ask Fox and oh, Rec yeah. if they would, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't want to jeopardize our relationship with Galloway, for instance, because we're unsure on the badge. Yeah, and yeah. Like there's, a, there's a lot of what ifs. Yeah, yeah I'm not comfortable really to just take that money away. I feel like and we would make sure that that the bench thing is going to happen well, and and able to be delivered before so, approaching it. Right so, to say, so what I would, what I would, I'm picking up on what Jesse and Alan is, we like the bench. Why don't we ask for more money? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. If it doesn't, if it, if it doesn't go, so we'll then make we a decision. Talk. We keep the budget and leave it to Galloway, but we like, would be like interested in a bench, bench, and we need additional money. So we'll, additional money, yeah. So then, extra, um, extra so first choice oh, mean is now and now includes all the pants. Is what you're saying? And to me, to me. So first choice includes. We're not asking Galloway at any point to cut to take less money. We're saying we want right. eight panels. We we'll give you the same amount of money, right. and we will if if we. If it turns out the bench can be delivered and they can sell it to us and Ansevi can paint it and Galilee can do his art, then we'll, at that point we go to council and say, hey, we need a little bit of extra. Well, I, I would even, the, we'll put it in on council now when they go in October. Is that with this? Okay. Is that we want to, this is the budget. Yeah, we, we just saw that here. So, yeah, yeah. But we'd also like to do beneficiations with it. Yeah. But we want the, present the, the options. So here's, present the options. Yeah. We want to do the stuff. First choice is slightly more expensive. And yeah, ultimate one into allocate is 20, and there is 20k the, more. Um, at the last two meeting or in uh, May and June, we talked about the additional reserve funding right, for right. fire station five. So there's yes, yes, 108,000 yes. from there that yeah, we yeah. could uh, could, could allocate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. let's do that. Yeah, yeah, I like the idea yeah, yeah. of not uh, low balling Stevie Galloway. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. We're so, so, that. so we're, we're saying let's keep Galloway's proposal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and intact. the budget that he had of 120k. Let's mm -hmm. also explore um, getting the bench from the net. Yeah, let's add money. Yeah. Either asking council for additional yeah. money or yeah. the first choice. funds of the yeah. fire. I feel like thing. we might have a good. We, we can make this happen. If it's a bench, right? Yeah. The bench is not part. The, the bench itself. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that we could go to city council and say, well, this is. Enhancement of the playground. It's it's recreational public furniture. Actually, yeah, working an artist to paint it, which is that well, we will, uh, community services didn't have any plans to add or replace yeah. any of the yeah. benches. So right, right. And the, ben the bench there it's is. Coming, it's a request coming from the business. Right, right. right. And and if you're placing a bench that faces away from the the, the <laughs> playground area, and so it's really an enhancement to the. Uh, Play area as well. Just, nice just great. Existing bench. So, do I hear this right? So, our so we would leave the budget uh, mm -hmm. complete for Galloway. Yeah. We would our first choice is ask for extra money. Yeah. yeah. First, first choice. Second choice yeah, is we take it from the reserve yep. funds. Yep. That's exactly Third right. choice is we leave the bench out. Yep. And, go just yeah. and fourth just choice is take Brica. Yep. If it's not too much work on you guys to follow up on this bench, it sounds like it's, it's, a, it's a phone well, it's, call. It's like. a lot of pages, <laughs> right? Oh, to follow so up on the bench. Just yeah, right. hey, it sounds like it would be, have to be in the phone call. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. absent, absent a commitment. City, yeah, yeah, that's we can't do that until council. Council, so, 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 uh, so, this, it's hard to go to council and say, yeah. Give us money for a bench that, that we might we don't not have yeah. by then. We probably know if they could make it or not, right? Yeah, we can ask, right? Maybe this is just too complicated. Uh, October 22nd, mm -hmm. so by then it's clear that, can, yeah. that they can or cannot make it. Yeah. So, so then we can, can move then on and it. present the second second choice. Wouldn't it be easier to either say no to the bench or we take it out of the reserve funds? So can we worse, take stuff out of the reserve funds? Or not? But it's eighteen thousand dollars, right? We're taking a that's a lot. Right. A well, we're not in we're yeah. not in the habit of having to pay for the structure. Yeah. That's, 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 that's why I feel we had a good, have a good argument to say okay. structure. So that's please the same delay occurs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they may say, yeah. 
So we don't save we don't save time, Susie. Yeah, you know, we can't count on that. We can't count on there being a bench. There's a lot of yeah, pretty well, squishy. If the bench stuff doesn't work out, we have it's, alternate one. Right. Yeah, so, but I've been to the bench. The bench has out, a beautiful can. view, but it's not that very yeah, yeah. no, but happy bench. If oh. it doesn't work out, is a complicated thing because we've got like say we've got a commit. Maybe we'd have to call them and say, gather those materials and reserve them for well, us. They have to want to do it too. They, they could say no. Say, and if they say no, then yeah, then, then we go to alternate one. If they well, say no, but they might say, okay, we're willing to hold this and, and find out. That's a possibility. So that's have to that's wait. the model. So that's technically right. what they're doing now. Yeah. Um, and they may be willing to hold it. A but as more. the longer we go and. Yeah. and by the time we get to council, yeah. we're just saying things could change at that yeah. point. Right. Um, it's not the day after council we can tell them yes, we can we can do yeah. this. It would also before anything gets signed and there's commitment to uh, the company to buy yeah. the bench, there would yeah. be a plan for all yeah. the process to yeah. go through our finance department. Yeah. How long would yeah. that max take? Like six weeks? Two months. <laughs> months. If the company is uncomfortable with that, the they'll just say no, and, and then we go to alternate one. Um, Right, so yeah, just to find, like, is, the, is this possibly yeah. so, what to do? Right? I, think I think we is. should try it. I think yeah. we should it go for it, and we have a good second plan, so. Mm -hmm. Second plan is great. I think, staff, here's the intent of what you're asking. We will do our best to explore the bench. Okay. Mm -hmm. And see what the feasibility is yeah. based upon the constraints. Yeah. Yeah. So if the bench is something that is desirous, we just please incorporate that into whatever the recommendation is. Yeah. And staff will do our best to see what the opportunity is, discuss with the company, see if we can make it work under various terms. And if we can do that and have that information ahead of council, is, if we get an answer, you will see in the recommendation we were successful in that. Yeah. Sounds good. So do you find to move and then again the alternate one? Again, again with the with the funding for the bench, we are saying two alternatives. It would council would say right. they could either ask you council either to add additional funds for yep. the bench yep. or to use the firehouse. Yep. Yeah, um, so yeah, they could either. So, so, would so, that be our second choice? Would we want to have first city council? Yeah, prove it's, it's extra really, funds. Yeah, they would have to prove extra yeah. funds yeah. somehow. That is my, you know, it's up to them. But my first choice would be like, yeah, get, man, pick up some more money from the general fund. If that doesn't work out, then we can, they they, they can decide to pull it from our reserve yeah. fund. That's also and then, so. And second choice would be we take it from the firehouse budget. Yeah, I'm third choice is we don't do the bench. Yeah, four choices break up. Yeah, mm -hmm. sounds good. Is that clear? Can somebody recommend? So <laughs> yeah, does <laughs> somebody want to repeat that in their own words so we can vote? So I'm proposing that for the three locations we um, advise um, select Galloway, and we also request additional funds either to be granted by city council or drawn from the firehouse. You know, you want to say, okay, let, let, yeah, okay, keep going. So, I, so either um, um, additional funds being allocated or using the funds available from the firehouse to fund a bench done by uh, Godet, assuming that the manufacturer is interested in producing the bench. I would do the first, first alternative, yeah. uh, first, first choice. Mm -hmm. And then if the bench is not available, then um, you drop it and put it in down the way. And if Galloway is not available, we'll go to the Rick Hop. I'm not voting, I'm just voting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so let's, yeah, so I second. 
No, I was that a motion, let's discuss it. Uh, no, I just so wanted that, that I had a, a comment. There's a second. Now you can discuss it or ask question. First ask questions okay, and then discuss. Yeah. So I have a question because my opinion, I would wait, you know, not, not say or mm -hmm. like we take firehouse funds or city council approves additional funds. I would say first choice is city funds. Second choices. I don't think higher. I don't know if we need that's to my only. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my exactly. only comment. So, so, the, uh, so the amendment would be to have additional funds for the bench. Uh, a first choice would be for additional funds to be granted. Second choice to fund it would be to uh, um, use uh, variable funds in the firehouse firehouse um, project to apply those both. Both are additional funds only for the bench. The original funds cover the three locations. Yeah. Seconder, are you okay with that? Are yes. you still second? I still, sec still second. All okay. in favor? I'm voting. <laughs> so, are there other so motions on the floor? Are there any questions or further discussion? Already taken public comment. Any further questions or discussion? David, I, I rescind my okay. <laughs> um, questions. Or do, does this mean that we are effectively basically doing a full court press for Galloway for either way, bench or no bench? Yeah. Yes. And that, that's and right. And only if he's not it. available for some reason. For sure. But oh, go, go the ahead. next artist. So we're not negotiating with him. Yeah, he stays right. the so same, proposal. same budget, no, same artist. Okay. Just yeah. wanted to propose hey, don't, 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 we're not doing yeah. the shave off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wanted to be asking that extra. Yeah. That's easy. Okay. Are we ready? And, and, and again, oh. um, just good. And in the proposal for Galloway and Bricka, they both assume they're working with the city on available, the appropriate wildlife. Exactly. Yeah, that's something we need to know. Yeah, that, 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 it's that, really that, local. That's a requirement. Yes. Uh, yeah. And mm -hmm. then they're both yeah, that's a good to do it. Add on. Yeah. Yeah. At the risk of complicating things slightly, yeah. I feel like that's just it. I would add one more step here between alternate one and two, which would be if Galilee doesn't work out, could we have breakup plus bench and ask for the extra money? And then if that doesn't work out, we have just because oh, um, um, it could be. be asked, I think at that um, point the timeline no, will be pushed out, and yeah. I think the bench availability. Yeah, will that's fine. We're not that's true. True. We're yeah. 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 separate thing. That it, it sounds like the bench question will be going along separately from whatever we do with our one hundred and twenty-one thousand dollars. So yeah, that's basically what you're asking, right? Yeah. In a sense. So. I will reiterate, I think <laughs> staff has a clear understanding yes. <laughs> of where the committee wants to go and understanding the importance of the bench and how it can best be revised. So I think it, while you could make or the motion could amend it, I think staff understands clearly the sentiment and um, desire of having Okay. Yeah. So now we. Uh, so we you're still second. Yes. So, favor. Yeah. It was a great discussion. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, always have good yeah. discussions. You got my vote. <laughs> 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 have a good evening. <laughs> we always have good discussions. Good discussion. Um. So let's go. Seven new business briefing on SV creates round table. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you for wise choice. Wise choice, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, good evening, the AC members and members of the public. Uh, economic vitality manager. Um, I had the pleasure of attending the municipal. Municipal Roundtable out of the City of Mountain View. Um, this was a meeting 
that was put together by SV Creates, and the purpose of this meeting was to talk about public art, public art in the realm of both art, culture, heritage, um, and SV Creates brought in a uh, a planner who plays in the space a lot in Southern California. His name was David Junior Saunders, uh, and he put together a little bit of a presentation. The audience for this roundtable was local government officials and just sharing some knowledge with all of us. The day concluded with a panel conversation with a couple different municipalities just talking about their experience in public art. Um, so what I wanted to do is basically share with you the presentation that David provided. Uh, I'm just going to go through this fairly quickly as you'll see through the slides but really it, it it first starts off talking about really art and culture um so i'm going to go um, next slide and then next slide so um when it comes to trying to uh, identify programs one thing mount view has is has both this visual arts committee that focuses on actual public art in, in expression that way. And we have a performing arts committee, which is about performance art and expression. Uh, some communities combine those for a committee, others keep them separate. Uh, some communities do art education as part of their programming. So it's a very wide swath of things that can go on in terms of art when we think about art and communities. And so this was a good example and, and really just a quick list of some of the different things that fall under the world of art. Um, and then kind of shifting, how do you fund art? And this was actually really fascinating. I know the DC certainly has talked about different funding sources and how funding for art occurs in mountains today. Uh, so the different, the traditional funding sources range from general fund to CIP funds, and this is what Mountain um, View uses, is capital improvement dollars uh, that it dedicates for art specifically. Uh, some cities use percent for art on private real estate. Others use COT funds. This is an example of San Jose. They, part of their hotel um, taxes, fund art and cultural activities. Transient occupancy debt. Thank you. Um, there are some communities um, that rely on emission fees. So this is a fee on tickets or events as a way to fund cultural activities and events. That uh, also encompass like museum tickets. Or something. It can be that. Um, really, not too many cities actually have separate ticket fees yeah. and what they apply to, but it is a funding mechanism that can be used to support arts. Parking fees is another one. Um, and then next slide. Oh, thank you. Um, other kinds of tools uh, that go to supporting arts. Uh, there's business improvement districts or property-based improvement districts can be formed to support arts. Um, when forming those districts, it's really important to put in the management plan a carve-out for that because once the district and the management plan is adopted, it's very hard to then allocate funds for arts if it's not predefined as part of the formation of the district. So um, that becomes an important uh, bond. Bond, um, bond issuance can be another way to support art, and then certainly grants. Um, Mountain View has historically not gone after grants, um, but it is certainly a space to acquire additional funds for art. Um, so that's a range of the different funding mechanisms. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, one of the things that David did is just talked about different uh, art programs and just kind of showing the range of art that communities do. And I was actually very privileged to be in Morgan Hill when this art piece went in. Uh, this is a, a tarantula that was put on a parking garage. Uh, this was actually part of a former redevelopment funds, uh, building a parking garage. And they asked for art on the garage. And what people 
don't know is there's an annual tarantula festival held in Henrico Park on the outskirts of Mountain View. What? Not in Mountain View, Morgan Hill. Um, and so everybody the, knows that. The, <laughs> uh, the, the artist designed it to be a tarantula. And then the lights are recycled motorcycle headlights. <laughs> oh, and that. it lights up. So it looks like a, a, a what do you call it? Jo uh, like a brooch. A brooch. A, brooch. Uh, yeah. a, a, oh, yeah, a lighted yeah. brooch in the evening. Like uh, and the, mm -hmm. obviously the headlamps being vehicle related, right? Yeah. Or a parking garage. Yeah. So this is an example of, of a public art that um, was chosen. Next mm -hmm. slide. Um, one of the things that was also very interesting uh, put together is just a sampling of the funding mechanisms uh, that different communities use to fund their public art. Um, as you can see by, and we can go to the, to the next slide. So this is kind of the, the written summary of what was going on, but most all cities have for, some form of percent for art, whether it be private or public or both. Mountain View only has a percent for our program on the public side, does not have one on the private side. City of San Jose has one on the private side, not on the public side. So there's different ranges of how people fund public art. Next slide. Um, and then just getting into case studies, and this was talking about the different art programs, and we can kind of go through this very quickly. Um, this was an example of what a community, after they identified either an art plan or an art cultural plan, really how it kind of transformed that community. Uh, so the next couple samples are these case studies where by a community adopting either an art strategy, a culture and art strategy, how it began to shift needle in those communities around art and art appreciation. And these are just some quick case studies that were provided. So we can scroll through these. Um, next slide. And then um, David finished by just talking about like, there can be very simple things when it comes to art. And this is an example of a very, very simple thing, which is painting, um, painting art on steps, right? It doesn't have to be a big thing. You can actually do it in very simple increments is how that discussion was finished. So we got into a little bit of a uh, round table conversation about how our respective communities are funding art. Um, and then the panel got up and just talked about their experience uh, with art um, and what's working in their communities and what's not. So uh, SV Creates is, um, gathering these municipal round tables. They happen every other month and it's a chance for folks that work in local government to share best practices, learn from each other. What are some of the opportunities? What are some of the challenges? What are some of the new things that they're doing? Um, so it is a great way to help build the bench and knowledge for us here in Mountain View. Um, and it, it's just really fascinating to see what's happening in other communities and the content changes by each meeting. Um, and this is what was shared in the June meeting. So happy to answer any questions. Uh, this was the presentation that was provided. And the meetings are quarterly. Oh, sorry, quarterly. <laughs> any, any of the material that you learned about um, influence what you're going to present to council? Uh, for sure. So one of the things that we had not been aware of, and certainly the EACs had spent some time discussing this, are the different funding mechanisms. So wasn't aware of, of an emission tax, a parking tax. So there are other ways to do this if maybe 80% for art program is not the right fit based upon changes in law. So there may be other mechanisms to fund art. That was a big learning. Yeah. I think the other major learning and takeaway from at least this particular um, meeting was actually relying on some the consultant services that help with some of the messaging around how to implement these. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think there's a lot of inward focus on immediately the Bay Area, but understanding how programs are funded on a much bigger scale across the nation becomes very helpful. Yeah. So sometimes stepping back and understanding that is uh, very helpful. So um, a few of the lessons learned there will help inform what we can present to council excellent. as part of the study session. Good, good, good. Excellent, excellent. So it'll also be turned into an education council for what's going on in other communities. Mm -hmm. California. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Other questions? So this one was about funding, which is very practical. And maybe um, you're too new to these meetings to know the answer to this, but are the quarterly meetings generally something more practical, something you could apply? Or do, do they also get into like, oh, this is more of a, this quarter will be a philosophical discussion on, you know, I think they're more applicable to like they, they are applicable to the the cities that are partnering right. so with us. Supposed to be kind of like actionable. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Right. yeah. So the the people who are invited to these are the communities that are um, have um, gone into Sign. like a yeah signed the agreement or the memorandum of understanding mm -hmm. with um, SV mm -hmm. creates, and so it's a way to kind of yeah. come up with what the um, approaches. Yeah. Are, mm -hmm. It's wonderful that they're doing this and wonderful that we're participating. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. That takes us great. Mm -hmm. Great. Other questions from the commissions? Opening up. Uh, anybody on Zoom wishing to uh, comment? Please raise your hand or hit star six uh, if you'd like to speak on this particular item. Not seeing any hands raised. Uh, there was no action on this item. This was meant to just be an update and share. Uh, there is another meeting planned for September. Uh, would be the next SV creates. Um, and just for awareness, uh, your chair is one of the delegates of, of the group. So I attended on behalf of uh, the rest of folks that were not available to attend that June meeting, um, but I think it, it's a really useful opportunity for us to get some lessons learned. Yeah, does this inform our uh, our strategy? It certainly can contribute to where where we go and yeah. where our council would like us to go. So I, I feel once again, kind of the sources of revenue as this has been each topic of conversation with the resorts committee. Um, this, I think, provides a, a wider array of opportunities, at least for discussion, to see what might be uh, palatable or amenable to support art. Um, obviously, some of these would be implements that go beyond council approving this some of these things would actually require voter approval if it were to happen. Some things are actionable things that council would action on. So it's, I think, providing that menu of things um, and what is kind of the level of investment wanting to be made in those things to support our. Um, Great. Thank you. Any other questions? Let's move on to eight committee staff comments. Questions. I guess the only question I had is follow up to what um, what's her name who presented that she's going to do the uh, the uh, the B, the, 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 the um, Anita Rosen. Yeah, so Anita. we um, yeah, thank you. So we we have been talking with her, um, and we're um, we decided or determined that the. Um, City Council, I think it's policy A6 is our donation or gift accepting policy um, would be the kind of route to take um, because she, she's essentially donating art um, to put on the train depot building. Um, so we're talking with her, working through um, her submitting a proposal to the city manager. She, she sent one in today, so it's something that needs to be reviewed. Um, and the 
the donation policy, the way it's written, um, gives discretion to the city manager. They can decide whether it's something that needs uh, more formal approval from the city council, and also whether to um, delegate some of the efforts to staff and who to delegate it to. Um, I think in her request, she is asking to work with the VAC. Um, so, yeah, there was an art donation in the past. We'll hear more soon. Yeah. <laughs> it includes that, yeah, that it's going to be researched how they work, how she works with us. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, she, there's no, um, she has ideas for art, but doesn't have an artist or um, uh, final design. And I think that's the hope is to work with basically get help. Which would then go back to us, and we'll need to figure out without the call for artists, right? How mm -hmm. we would do that actually. Yeah, yeah. And I think most of the effort would come from Anita. Um, it's not a city project, it's a donation from her. Um, and then we can like, support the VAC's efforts. So we'll, um, I think we should know at the next meeting. If it's not on the agenda, at least know what the next steps are. Um, okay. And just a friendly reminder, uh, we are set for the study session October 22nd for our strategy. So um, we'll be sharing more information and content as we get closer to that, but that is what it is. Is that going to be evening, daytime? You know? Study yeah. session. So I, I had to... Yeah, it's a study session, correct. End of October. So I'll wear our costumes. I'll be in I, city. And, and you'll, you'll, in our next meeting, you'll kind of run through what you're going to present or give us a peek at it or ask for comments. Or uh, I, I, It'll be similar, or it is essentially what you, you presented in a staff report correct. in June. Correct. Okay. Okay. Minor, some minor changes, oh. some minor changes for council. Yeah. But in general, what was discussed in June. Okay, okay. In terms of your guidance will be yeah. included in the memo reflecting this gotcha. input into this project. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, great. Okay. Thanks for the comment. Yeah, this was something I had asked at the agenda meeting. You know, if we wanted to give council like a, a word of advice with our materials, that would be something I was wondering if we want, you know, like a, a general comment of like, yes, we want, we were, we're very much in favor of more more good art in Mountain. It's more a general statement, like, you know, yeah. we have all this material that they get a flavor. What do we about? Are you saying this? we would just like pass the motions? If we wanted to yes, do yes, that, right? Artists, like a statement like a from the VAC. Okay. We wanted to craft a statement. Well, would that help, John? Or is it well, your. You can't hurt you're, <laughs> you're, an, you're an advisory body to. Council. Yeah. Um, and part of what is happening is trying to get council's feedback and direction of where they would like the art conversation to go. That art conversation may be in wonderful alignment with work the BBC has done. It may be different. But it's to get guidance and clarity from them in order to make sure we have a public art strategy that can be adopted. Yep. Yep. Okay. So it would be more us listening than yes. talking. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 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 Did, did this whole initiative kicked off six years ago? A long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> so the council's very different. It was so yeah. now this yeah. is the new council. And Depends how different ad, different issues. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah, we so now once again, it's a chance for them to provide direction and identify the things that are important to them and what they've heard from the community. And then how that shapes the next step. It could be very much in alignment with a lot of the work BC has done, or it may need to yeah. be modified yeah. slightly. Yeah. I don't, 
I don't believe the good work committee has done is not or not. I think it's been very valuable. I think it's going to inform the conversation. But we need council to provide direction. Yeah. And they're they're aware of what we've done. They'll okay. yeah. read the report. And, and and you said it's also mm -hmm. to, to educate them on the communities are doing how we fit in amongst those communities in this topic. So it's a, it's a win win for everybody. Great. Right. I just have one other quick question the bollards. Is there any? He said also contingent to the contractor. Mm -hmm. I was just not because the bollards were supposed to be done for the art and mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're still pristine and beautiful, pristine white. Yeah. So at the this point and yeah, the contractor. Question about contractor's licenses. And there's delay. This right now. Um, so we're communicating with the artists and just letting them know what's happening. Yeah. 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 I think it's particularly bad for small projects. Right. Like, oh, yeah. 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 It's prohibitive for small projects. Right. Depending on how it's interpreted. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, the, to... like the, the utility box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want some neighborhood people to do utility boxes with kids or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. A neighbor of mine, I don't know if this is the, the appropriate time. A neighbor of mine asked if, you know, they if they had city money for the neighborhood little committee, could they use that to paint some utility boxes? They already had the artist at some local oh. you know, high school whiz, whiz artist kid. Yeah. Um, can they do that outside of us? And two ounce of box. Well, that's that's so, what I brought. If it's not so, a city on so we'll, uh, um, we're getting a little bit into discussion, but I will ask a question. So okay. that we're getting in more to discussion. This is meant oh, more for like statements okay. or questions we come back to. Right. Right. This is not generous, but what I will respond to the comment being a to the city specifically about the question posed. Um, painting boxes depends on who owns the box, which utility provider owns the box. The boxes that were done originally were all traffic signal boxes, which is historically what's done because that's what's controlled by the city. Uh, PG&E, water, you need an electric, it's the same. Uh, <laughs> water, any of the other utilities are frequently not available to paint. So if it's in a neighborhood, there's no signals. Probably. Most likely yeah. there is not going to be. So permission would need to be provided by the owner of the property. And once again, traffic signal boxes, they're fairly large. Those are the boxes that are controlled by the city. Uh, that's good clarification. Thank you. I'll pass that on. All right. Good. All right. Okay. We're in the meeting at seven. Yeah, great. Great. Thank you. And we made the limit. Right. By, by a lot.